Hello. I will be presenting our work, MesoNet allows automated scaling and segmentation of mouse mesoscale cortical maps using machine learning. Here, we developed an automated machine learning-based registration and segmentation approach for quantitative analysis of mouse mesoscale cortical images. We first define the landmarks in a common coordinate system for alignment to the reference atlas. In order to automatically estimate landmark locations, a dataset of images annotated with nine anatomical landmarks was used to train a deep learning model. The performance of landmark estimation is robust using deep learning. In parallel to the landmark identification, we also developed an approach to delimit the boundaries of the cortex. This delimiting method was based on training an adapted UNET network. We showed that the UNET model offers high accuracy for cortical delimitation prediction compared to the conventional OTSU's threshold method when both were compared to the human raider's manual delimitation. We used sensory mapping to validate expected delimited cortical regions. To perform sensory mapping, we applied visual, whiskers, and tail stimulations on mice to generate activation maps for the respective sensory modalities. We showed that the predicted sensory regions from MesoNet were consistent with sensory functional maps. Since the training of our networks could be influenced by specific patterns of expression of the fluorescent indicators, we validated the robustness of the method by testing other lines. To further quantify the performance of brain-to-atlas alignment, we compared MesoNet with manually labeled alignment by calculating the Euclidean distance between the landmarks of the anterior tip of the interparietal bone and cross point between the median line and the line which connects the left and right frontal pole, an angle of the midline compared to the ground truth common atlas. MesoNet performs significantly better than manual labeled alignment in both comparisons. To evaluate the capabilities of our registration pipeline, we used SEC-NMF to discover cortical activity motifs from resting state mesoscale cortical imaging. This method was able to reveal spatio-temporal cortical activity motifs that represent known intracortical connection patterns. As a further test of our software, we artificially generated a more diverse, misaligned test dataset by rotating the brain data to arbitrary angles and resizing the images by variable factors. We then compared the motif clusters for raw data from misaligned data before and after brain-to-atlas transformation using an unsupervised clustering algorithm, phenograph. We found that the brain-to-atlas approach was able to normalize the motif cluster number in the misaligned datasets, which apparently misclassified some motif patterns as new clusters. To increase the flexibility and accessibility of MesoNet, we developed a landmark-based pipeline a MBFM UNET-based pipeline, and a voxel morph-based pipeline. We used stereotyped cortical spatio-temporal activity motifs as a means of creating animal-specific motif-based functional maps, MBFMs. These MBFMs provide an opportunity to predict brain regional boundaries using another pre-trained MBFM-based UNET model that we call the MBFM UNET model. To supplement our anatomical landmark-based alignment approach, we capture local deformation using functional map features by integrating voxel morph as an optional add-in to the MISO net pipeline. Voxel morph offers a learning-based approach that determines a deformation field that is required for the transformation and registration of image pairs, such as MBFMs. We generate a template MBFM that is aligned with an anatomical reference atlas. The deformation field predicted from voxel morph can be applied to the reference atlas to fit the functional regions in the input MBFM. To check the performance of these mouse-specific MBFM-based alignments, we compared the predicted location of sensory regions for sensory map-based and voxel morph pipelines. The prediction accuracy was then evaluated by measuring the Euclidean distance between the centroids of sensory stimulation-induced activation and predicted atlas ROI centroids. All the three pipelines yielded good performance. Overall, we apply machine learning models to automate the registration and overlay of the reference atlas and the segmentation of brain regions using mesoscale wide field images with high accuracy. We develop animal specific motif based functional maps that represent cortical consensus patterns of regional activation that can be used for brain registration and segmentation. Our automated pipelines can be combined to consider both anatomical consistency and functional individual variations to help better analyze brain regional activity. Our open source platform, 
MISONET allows researchers to register their functional maps to a common atlas framework based on cortical landmarks and will help comparisons across studies. We also provided six end-to-end -end automated pipelines to allow users to quickly output results from input images. Next, we will show a demo video of these automated pipelines. MISONET has five pipelines available for you to use. The first pipeline is the Atlas to Brain Pipeline, used for aligning a standardized brain atlas to your brain image inputs. Starting MISONET is as simple as running import MISONET and then running the command MISONET.GUI start. This brings up the graphical interface of MISONET, which usually takes a few seconds to load given the need to find the GitHub repository on your computer. Once the interface loads, you can go to the input folder and select your input brain images. These are just standard calcium brain images that you can use from your data. And then you select your output folder. Once you define your output folder, the automated option Atlas to Brain will configure some sensible options that will allow you to very quickly establish the alignment of the Atlas to the Brain, as seen in this output. In the second approach, you can align your brain image to the standardized Atlas, in effect normalizing the brain images to the Atlas. This approach works in a very similar fashion to the first one, with just the final step being different. Here, once again, we define our set of input images, which in this case will be the same as those we used in the first pipeline, a set of brain images. Once again, we define our output folder. And we select brain to atlas on the right. And the output currently shows the brain aligned to the atlas in a normalized fashion. Now, in the third pipeline, we can leverage functional activity maps that we may have collected alongside the calcium images. It takes a function activity that will be similar across animals, and that can therefore be used to co-register the images. As such, the inputs that are required are both raw brain images, as before, but also accompanied within individual folders by accompanying sensory maps, which will be defined here. These sensory maps are kind of a heat map that shows the peaks of activation averaged across this animal, and they will show us where the activation is most consistent, as you can see here. Uh, across the animal here for the tail, visual, and whisker stimulation, regions of the brain that are consistently activated across animals and therefore can be used to register brain data across animals. Again, we can simply click the button, Atlas to Brain plus Sensory Maps, and we get a somewhat more robust Atlas to Brain alignment, aligning also to the sensory map peaks. In the next pipeline, we do not actually have to define any landmarks. We can just use a unit model that we have trained, a segmentation model that we have trained to segment the brain into individual regions. So this approach can be quite fast, assuming your brain is of a relatively standard shape and does not require significant rotation. Here, we input a motif-based functional map, which shows averaged motif patterns of brain activity from multiple animals generated earlier in the using that pipeline from a MATLAB script. Using these inputs, known as MBFMs for short, we can very quickly generate a map of the MBFM with the Atlas regions overlaid. And this is robust to whether or not you have those olfactory bulbs that you can see at the top. And in the last approach, we also leverage a nonlinear registration technique called voxel morph which will allow us to make our alignment process even more precise, including 
warping individual brain regions within the contours of the brain to be aligned with the atlas. As we can see here, we have some highly skewed and angled images paired with aforementioned MBFMs. And the voxel morph process will register this MBFM functional map to the raw image. Once again, we can just click the button, and now we get a very robustly aligned brain image to the atlas with the interior brain regions also being specifically aligned. Thank you for watching.